Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is a Plague Tale Requiem. Last episode was a pretty eventful time. Uh, we managed to make our way all the way down through a very, very, very deep cathedral? Prison? I mean, both words kind of work for it. I mean, it was clearly a very grand building that was very, very far underground, but it was also clearly a prison for the last carrier, where the Order actually, like, imprisoned him underground. And we also learned that because the last carrier's protector fail was separated from him and failed to reach him in time, he ended up dying alone and... Because of that, he unleashed the, what, what do they call it, the, the Justinian plague, the the last time that the plague hit the world. So we're kind of using that to kind of assume that as long as Amicia and Hugo stay together and find kind of a peaceful area to live in, that Hugo will actually be just fine. The final threshold won't actually do anything to him. At least that's the that's what we're working off of. But this game still has considerably more to go, so don't know how reliable that's going to be. But that's what we're here to find out, right? And there's only one way to find out, and that is to jump into the game. But before we do that, if while you're watching the video you're having a good time, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out tremendously with keeping the YouTube overlords happy. And remember that you, yeah you, you're awesome. So be awesome to others, okay? All right, let's hop into A Plague Tale Requiem. Well, Island has seen better days, I think. Uh, can I hop down? No, cannot hop down. Okay. But we can hop down over here. Mind the drop. Yes. <coughs> He's dead. No choice. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Come, we'll cross. Now we do things safe and slow. No taking stupid risks. Hugo, if you feel funny, tell us right away. I will. Can't wait to leave this rock. All right, the harbor, come. Hey, my lady. What is it now? You're the Countess's guests, aren't you? Are you hurt? No. We have orders. To escort you safely, to the palace. Actually, we were about to leave. You have guests. Guests? Who? What? Your mother and a boy. <sighs> oh, of course. Do you think she's going to scold us? I don't know. I... We should go see her. It's been a long time. I mean, yes. are we going to be able to get away? We can't run away from this, I guess. Wow. Look at the two of you. Only a mum can have such power over someone. All right. You know what? I'll head to the harbor and prepare the boat. You join me as soon as you can. Take this. Whatever happens, keep this flame alive, all right? Yes. Be careful. Don't worry. I've learned from both of you. That by itself is reason way, then. to be worried. the truth we found what we came for and i'm the one to blame i'll defend you my hero Hurry, move before they come is back. the palace going to hold sir for now the count opened the gates again. to the people but there's so many dead and wounded we've seen that careful stay back it's like the one we saw the book 
second one. Shh. Yes. Where did they get it? You're safe as long as you stay inside this line. But outside, without light. Yes. We know. Anyway, you're safe now. Are you not planning to evacuate? Not yet. Not until we've got everybody regrouped. That's bold. <clears throat> Don't know that I agree with that decision entirely. We need more fires on the main road. Pick up the pace. Keep these flames for even help here. It looks like a war. Come give me a hand with this. The rats are pushing on a roof break. We need torches there. They should evacuate. Yes. No one can win against them. You can bring them inside. All right, I understand. Good luck. Take trenches along the ramparts and fill them with tar. Keep them burning. Any breach could make the palace fall. And if the rats enter the palace, then you're dead. Keep them burning. Have you fixed the piston yet? We need this cart on the ramparts fast. Another one. Get off my back. This thing's so old, it might just explode. We've got hmm. wounded up here. It's not pretty. The uh, child may want to look away. I know blood. Still, try not to look. <laughs> there are more. My arm! It's burning! The other ones have been bitten. No, yes. It's it was bad. It's over. Let him go. No! No! The child is supposed to lead us to brighter days, not this carnage. Quiet! This is not the time to argue. Children. Yeah, about that. See, the problem there is y'all have been interpreting it the way that you want to. Is this, this is really a test the child senses. You must not lose faith. Are the rats really announcing his coming? Through there. Why is he killing us? Still you too. your hearts. Pray to him. Just pray. Mummy! You're here. My God, you're alive. Oh, yeah? Mother, come here. Please, come here. Mother, how are you? Your head. It's fine, don't worry. How did you find us? You left quite a trail behind you. But tell me. To be fair. One? This island? <coughs> yeah, it is, but... There was another carrier, like me. Another carrier? Yes. Back in the 6th century. Child called Basilius. We found him chained in an order prison designed especially for him. What? I think they panicked when he reached his last threshold. They took him away from his protector, locked him in there to contain what would happen next. A new plague in the sixth century. That's the Justinian plague. We knew it was connected to the macula, but <laughs> so it started here. With this Basilius. But it was not his fault. He was just all alone and scared. Yes. Mother, Magister Bodin said Hugo is condemned. But this is what the Order believes, based on their mistake in the past with Basilius. If he'd had his protector, like Hugo has us, I'm almost sure nothing would have happened. Think about it. During the last months on the road, the times when it was quiet, everything was just fine. He was fine. That's true. Something tells me that if we settle down somewhere safe and live there as a family... Maybe the plague would stop with time. It, it would stop getting worse. Fear really clouded our minds, didn't it? Except yours, Protector. Yes. Remember that house we have in the mountains? We'll be great there. We'll be big and tall. Sorry to interrupt. 
The Count wants to see you. Me? Now? But we were about to leave. He is the Count of Provence, my lady. Yes. We'll wait for you. For now, we're safer here than outside anyway. Fine. Take me to him. Mm. This feels like a mistake. Something tells me the Count's Follow not going to be terribly happy. Do you know what the Count wants with me? No. I, I thought he would be attending to more urgent matters. Seeing you must be an urgent matter. Act with dignity in his presence. These are dark times. He's touched, like any of us. All right. I will. The main gate is secure enough for now, but the western rampart is still weak. If the rats enter through there, we won't be able to evacuate the wounded. Now, I want to know where those Wait rats here. come from. Send scouts. If we can find a way to slow them, stop them, or send them to hell, it'll be worth the risk. Sire, she's here. Good. This is a war unlike any other. But it is still a war. Dismissed. And have faith. It's not over yet. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir! Come. I need you. Very well. Count. What exactly do you need me for? So you survived those beasts? Barely. I'm sorry for your land. The Lord should know that no peace lasts forever. But I confess that after years of war, I had dared to hope that this one would. I understand. The scars are still so vivid. They fill the mind when you want only rest. Uh, sorry, I... No. No. That's exactly it. It's only human. I think. You're right. But it doesn't stop you from being there when battle calls. Yes. Is the child really coming? All the signs are here. You mean, the rats? Not only the rats. Come, you'll see for yourself. Yes. Something up with this. Emily's the boy, Amicia. I'm sorry, but she is sure now. Sure about what? That your brother is the child of Embers. She must have him, so you must die. No, no, listen. You are all completely wrong about this. Your cult, everything. You're probably right. Because I invented most of it. And I did it for her. What? Emily. Her bloody parents broke her mind until she tried to take her own life. Poisoned her own body. So I brought her here, offered her this child of Ember's story, and not only did she believe it, she turned it into hope for the people. You read her alive! What are you trying to do? Accept your fate! Ah! Oh, damn you! You go... run! Can I really not do anything faster than this? Come back! Get back to the go! I won't lose her! Not for you! Go to hell! Where are you going? You won't have him! Move to the right! Come on! Quick! You can't imagine what's at stake! Go to hell, you bastard! No. I tried to be patient! No! no. You won't get him! I'll find you, and you will die like a dog. Hey, what's going on? I need help. Please, how do I get out of here? Who are you? Where is she? Uh, behind that monster! Uh, shut up! Everybody out! Keep out of sight. You and me. No. Well, that didn't work. Let's finish this. 
I know it seems unfair, but you don't know what it takes to rule. It's so easy. I could destroy everything. But she showed me another way. She has a light about her. You've seen it. I know where you are. No escape! Mother Lucas, how I mistouched them! It's too late. Now she knows he exists. Bastard! Bastard! I'm hoping I'm going the right direction. People believe in her as much as in the child. Stay away from me! Don't you get it? This is bigger than you! Give up! Surrender your brother! We can't do this the easy way. You're crazy. You'll all die if you take him away from us. Don't be so dramatic. You'll simply disappear and the world won't care. Just let go. You've lived a lie for so long. You can't see the truth anymore. Truth is everything that's rotten but her. She's the only reason this world is not burning. But we will protect your brother from that spot. We have the power to... <laughs> To find the others, quick! Must be a way to get back upstairs. No way. Yeah, but I need to break line of sight with him first. Doesn't mean you're particularly good at it. Why could you be? Thought you were trained for this. It hurts terribly, doesn't it? But I can ease the pain. Trust me. Shut the hell up. Know how to hide, I'll give you that. You want to go in there? Come, come on, keep going. You go, Mother Lucas. That's it, all that matters. Oh, come on. Master, come on, come on. <clears throat> really? All right, so I have to get him to go into there. Oh, 
Doesn't actually see me here, though, does he? Yes, he does. Never mind. That didn't work. Okay, so that does not work. Hmm. The one to the left is really loud. What about the one to the right? Run, 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 run. Make the big lug follow you. Maybe look inside those cells. Well, first I got to get away from them. is pointless. You have nowhere to go. It hurts terribly, doesn't it? But I can ease the pain. Trust me. survival instinct. I admire it. You've been through a lot, I can tell. It makes this even more exciting! Somewhere over there. Or later, I will find you. There he comes. It's been a while since I hunted. Since I met Emily. And you are a wonderful prey. I'll kill you. As soon as I can. How did he mess my shoulder up so much? You're too much of a threat for us, for the child. Well, it's because you're an idiot. If you're not here, where are you? Good question, isn't it, huh, buddy? Mr. I'm such a good hunter. Based off what I'm seeing, you're kind of an idiot. I mean, I have to activate one of those things to get the portcullis to lift, but those things are so incredibly noisy. Come on. 
Yeah, seriously. <clears throat> this thing is so incredibly slow, and that sounded like him just breaking out. Nope. I choose not to. I choose to run away and hide. Because, I mean, isn't that the whole point of this? Is to make it fun for you? Go through, go through, go through, make it through. Add a girl. You won't be able to hide forever. Can I really lure him back into going into there again? Does that door actually work anymore? I don't think I can jump that. I see where you are, you little prick. Ooh. Yep, I have to redo that now. Son of a... Push as hard and fast as you can. <sighs> now I gotta redo this and lose this prick all over again? I mean, that's the only option I have. You know how to hide, I'll give you that. <sighs> it hurts, apparently, doesn't it? But I can ease the pain. Trust me. Amnesia's shoulder get this badly hurt, though. I mean, a little tumble down the stairs shouldn't have been enough to do that to her. Why could you be? And you're gonna you're do that thing again. I admire it. You've been through a lot, I can tell. It makes this even more exciting. Come here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oops. Whatever. Get on this thing and push. Push it, 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 push it. It's been a while since been update. Come here. Probably not gonna be able to jump that. to the child. I want to see if she can hop over that. Like, I feel like she should be able to.
later, I will find you. Mm. I'm pressing X to doubt. Actually, what game is that from? I need to look that up at some point. At some point in time. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally get myself away again. Oop, 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 oop. Where did you go? Definitely not into that little back room. No way. Can I actually shut that door again? Will that work? No. He's still back there. Can, why can I not jump this thing? Definitely not. Oh, I will find you. Oh, I don't think you will, actually. There has to be another one of these places that I can lock him into. <clears throat> I just don't know where it would be. Because, like, he doesn't ever go into anything else. Don't you wish you knew? Yeah, there's got to be another place where I can open up that he can go wander into to hunt for me. Why could you be? another one. Amicia, you are so noisy. You won't escape like this. Not sure how I triggered that beast to fall, but alright. Go in that room. You won't. Where did you go? Do it, coward. Not here. Where are you? 
not really the greatest hiding spot over here. Sooner or later, I will find you. Somehow, I don't believe you, but all right. Nope. That, I should have known better than to try that one. That was my fault. <clears throat> so I have to figure out a way to trigger him to go into that room. Come on. Think of how much of a beast Alia was. Yes, it's far too noisy. There we go. Good enough. Because the further I can knock that stuff down, the better. Lucian, quick. Oh, yes, that's what the plan is. Alicia, don't hide behind there. Come out. Don't worry. I'm going to make a better game of it for you than that. Got that one down almost halfway. And now we just Don't loop stay. around. You can do it. Come on, buddy. Go in that. Go in that door. I dare you. I double dare you. I just wish there was a way to trigger something to break in there and get back out. Heavy though. You know how to hide, I'll give you that. It hurts terribly, doesn't it? But I can ease the pain. Trust me. Somehow a sword through the chest doesn't seem like it would really ease the pain that much. survival instinct. I admire it. You've been through a lot, I can tell. It makes this even more exciting. Where are you? Why don't you go check the little room over there? Maybe I'm inside of that. What do you think, huh? Come on, keep going. You go, mother. You guys, they all that matters. I mean, can I really not do, like, an offhanded throw into that room? I'm just saying. Like, I'm predominantly right-handed, but I'm pretty sure in this situation I could chuck a pebble. Or a rock or a pot or something with my left hand. It's been a while since I hunted. Since I met Emily. And you are a wonderful prey. I'll kill you. As soon as I can. But you're too much of a threat for us, for the child. Where could you be? All right, I might actually have to do something here.
Don't have to. Come on, dude. Go check the tape. Go check inside where the pot broke. Oh, you irritating piece of crap. Alright, let's explore this room a little bit before I start breaking stuff in it. Actually, it's the other way around. You are. What? You dirty little... no! Come on. Come on. Get back over here. Who's knocking stuff down? Hiding over. Go on through. Hiding is pointless. You have nowhere to go. He's not very smart. You've got this girl. Oh. oh, hallelujah. Come on, come on, girl. Come here. No. Now is the exit. Give me a goddamn exit. Running it then? You are tired. I shot you. The hell is it? Amazing. You remind me of old times. Of myself. I'll see you. Wear your blood. Please, stop this man. You go, they'll take him away. Yeah, you can't be fainting. Mom, Lucas, get them out of here. Even if it hurts. Alright, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say your shoulder's probably dislocated. Once somebody pops it back into a socket, you'll be fine. You, you know it, Mom. So use it. Use it against them. I mean, honestly, f well... I'm guessing it's your first time, so maybe you can't Don't actually pop it back in. Yes, you failed, but this child was never truly yours. I feel so full of him. Hugo won't heal the wounds of your past. He will fill no void in you. You'll die. Everybody will. No! He will be loved. He will shine like a brighter sun. Repel this darkness, and I... I'll just be a mother. Watching the first steps of a god. Shut up! You have no claim to this family! Amicia! How are you still alive? It's simple. Your husband Where's sucks at his job. Inside, go! Run! 
At last. Sorry, my love, but this one's a hell of a fighter. Now this. This is an invitation I can't refuse. You caught me by surprise. I'm impressed. You got a I weak sword hand. No. You face me, thinking with all your soul that you can defeat me. I can. You won't have my brother. <laughs> Such dedication. <laughs> A burning fire inside you but a flame without discipline doesn't make a soldier it consumes them from within I'm not a soldier oh I know you fight because you don't have the choice I chose this life this is why you'll fail you talk a lot coward <laughs> steady your stance Stand your ground! Grip that sword properly. You're a disgrace to it. You never fight to defend yourself. Fight to kill, to conquer! Whatever! You're still a coward! Who do you think you are to defy me? I'm Amicia! Jeroen! Ah, shut up! And I kneel to no one! Shut up! <laughs> this is going well. Victor, this is not what we're here for. Let Hugo see you doing this to me. Go ahead, see how that works I'm out. Sorry. War took its toll on my husband. He gets carried away sometimes. I admire you. Your children are strong. Your bonds are strong. When I was her age, I could only wish for this kind of love. But it's not just about us. For love is meant to be shared, to be turned into light, shone over the whole world. Such is the fate of the child of embers. Love can kill Emily. By the time you realize that, it will be too late. For now, it will be quick. I'm so proud of you. Well, that Amicia? just got really dark. Mommy? Was that a fever dream of Hugo? Okay. I don't think it was. Hey, buddy. I, I know we said that unleashing the rats was bad, but I think you need to unleash the rats. Everyone. 
Yeah, buddy. I think we need to go um, do some really terrible things. Because I think Emily is about to find out the hard way that killing a child's mother is not the way to its heart. Um, especially when that child happens to have superpowers. Like being able to unleash massive monstrous hordes of rats that can devour a full grown human. Yeah, there are people. <laughs> yeah, Vic. What's up, buddy? What you gonna do, huh? Sire, we can't stay here. We'll get her from inside. It's you. It's you. I knew it. Emily, I'll come get you. No. What are you doing? Please, please. I'll be a better mother. I'll be a better you need mother. More. You need more rats. The problem is it takes so long to channel the rats.
never leave this island. I'll finish this! I mean, that feels like an even trade to me. Hey, Lucas. How did you get Amicia's crossbow? Amicia? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not mad that you Amicia, have it. Because something tells me you're going to need it. I'm here. Hey, Lucas, do you know how to pop a shoulder back into socket? See that I was right that the Count was a piece of shit after all. Please, Hugo, say something. Look at me, please. I need you. Amicia, we can't stay here. He won't talk to me. We need to leave. Hugo, answer me. Amicia, we need to leave. To go where? The harbor. We're leaving this place. I want rest. You can rest when you're safe. We will never be, Lucas. Never. There can be no peace for us. Look at him. <laughs> I'll lead the way. Don't think. Just follow me. I'll be your path for the both of you. I'll carry you if I must. But I'm taking you out of here. Take a deep breath and stand up. You did it. Come on, Hugo. Good. I'm taking you out of here. All right, well, I think we're going to call it here. That was, on one hand, that was awesome. Like, watching Hugo just lose his ever-loving mind and just channel all the rats. That was pretty awesome. And I was right about that Emily chick being psychotic, to put it kindly. And the count was a piece of crap, too. Uh, unfortunately, the game did crash halfway through the episode, which kind of sucks, but... It is what it is. At least it was a quick reboot and go again kind of thing. Um, not sure what happened with it there, though. But that'll, that'll definitely come up in the review. Anyways, it's it was a fun bit of story. At least one bad person got what was coming to him. But unfortunately, it cost us mummy, so... Not sure the trade was worth it, really. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Helps out tremendously. 
If you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of the news, reviews, how-tos, or playthroughs here at Gaming Apocalypse, well, don't delay. Subscribe today. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember, life can get rough sometimes, so good luck. Have fun. Stay awesome. All right? All right. Catch you in the next one.